Well, I don't know why it keeps turning off, so it keeps turning off, but we keep turning it on. And uh, someone's here again. But And they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when they saw he, and when, the, and when he was come out of the ship, the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. So as I was saying, the Messiah is very familiar with evil spirits on the earth, on the land. They are all around us. If you go to the cities, they're around the streets. They dwell everywhere. They're just You just don't understand why people, how they can live like that and how they're like that because they're ran by a whole other force. They could even be ran by the Father, Messiah, to test us, to test you. We will get tested even if you're righteous, you know, but uh, the wicked will be cut off. And so with the Father, Messiah is really familiar with this. Uh, he who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters 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 broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones but when he saw Yahushua afar off he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Yahushua, the son of Ben of Yahuwah, the Most High, Yahuwah, Eloi? I adjure thee by Yahuwah that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is your name, thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he bought, and he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, and that we may enter them. And forthwith Yahushua gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and thus the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand, and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled, and told it to the city and in the country. And when they, they went out to see what, what it was that was done, and they came to Yahushua and see him that was possessed with a with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind and they were afraid and they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine and they began to pray to depart out of their coast they didn't want the messiah there even because of his power even because he was good they will not want you because you're good um so be always ready for attacks and, and the Messiah went through it all and the spirits do do a, a attack and as we say these these uh they we will get humbled one way or another. Always be humble though. You don't wanna get humble. You wanna be humble. Um so the Messiah already went through a lot in his time as well with demonic forces. And still there's more to come. And when he saw, when, when he was come into the, sh the boat, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. How be it, Yahushua suffered him not, but says unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the, the Father has, has done for thee and has co had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis, how great things Yahushua had done for him, and all the men did marvel. And when Yahushua was passed over again by the boat into the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there comes one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, 
and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies in the point of death. I pray thee come and lay their hands on her, that she may be healed, and she was, and she shall live. And Yahushua went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman who had an issue of blood for twelve years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was not, nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Yahushua, came in the press behind and touched his garment, for she said, If I may touch his clothes, I should be whole. So they all had hope. We always have to have hope in the Messiah. He was the Almighty. And um, everybody kept this hope and knew him, and they had that, 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 that yearning in him to go find the Messiah. You have to go to him. As people were going to him all over, we still have to find him today and go for him uh, with our hearts. And wherever he sends you, that's where he could be. And healing can come. Uh, other than that, there's things that men cannot do. I know I hear stories of people cutting themselves and, and through depression. And little do we know it's a demon, it might be several. So we pray for those that are oppressed and possessed. Uh, this time for those that want to take advantage of your kindness, those that take advantage of, of your good, um, just because they have a demonic force that wants to hurt you. So. It's, you know, always seek the Messiah. And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt it in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Yahushua, immediately knowing in himself that, that that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, the say, Thou sayest, the thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, my faith has made... And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be, and be whole of thy plague. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue certain house, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troubles the master any further? As soon as Yahushua heard the words that were spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and Yohanan, the brother of John, the brother of James. And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and sees the Talmud, and, they, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make you... Uh, why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but asleep, but sleepeth. And they laughed at him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taken the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was laying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talita kumi, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straight away the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to really trust people and not share things with people that we do not trust or that are not part of the situation. People can always turn around and do wicked things to you and take advantage of our spirits. So we always got to be with the Messiah all the time. Have the armor on uh, because Satan prowls around looking for souls, you know, like a lion and to devour them. And uh, it's a very tough challenge when it comes to things that are confusing and they don't make sense in your life. That's because there's also the evil spirits around. As we see the Messiah was doing this. They present themselves not always in this big, strong form, but a lot of times they can. And so it's always a Messiah. We must continue praying and, and reading about him and knowing and, and getting stronger in the faith. Even when we get ourselves, the Father puts us through challenges. So um, I pray for myself, first of all. I pray for everybody else. 
you know, who needs the prayer or friends that I've encountered that are just having a rough time. They can't seem to get themselves out of things. It's because they're not going to the Messiah, really. So I could probably be the closest thing to the Messiah for them. And so, you know, here we are. And um, I confess all my sins from my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul to Yeshua HaMashiach, Holy King, the only begotten Son, and the only and the King, Messiah, King, and the only begotten Son of Yahuwah. So we take this bread, Baruch Atayahu, Alehenyam, Alech Alam, Matalehemin Haretz, Yeshua Yahuwah, King of the Universe, who brings forth fruit from the earth, and Yeshua the bread of life. I break it with you. Baruch Atayahu, Alehenyam, Alech Alam, Hamatalehem, Bori, Bori, Hagafin, Amen. So thank you. I also want to share the Psalms. I had Psalms uh, 10, 11, and 12, and they are also very fitting. King David talks about the pressures of life and how they want to surround you with all the haters and people want to bring you down because they're not in your spirit. But we must show them who we, what name we come in. Shalom with all. Prosperous week to everyone. Thank you for clicking in. And um, always and forever. Against the evil, it's only going to get worse. To those celebrating him, to rule in the 10 days before a young, young people. Our sins have a lot to do with it as well. Our own sins. So we clean our sins. Always in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the son of Yahuwah, the lion of Yahudah. We send these prayers of incense. Thank you for clicking. You yeah, have a good, a prosperous Kadosh week. Against the forces of evil and help others. You always help yourself and protect yourself first. At least you be tempted as well. Amen. Hallelujah.